Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contacts and we will be also using set and reset coils. So let's start. Example 11. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 2 will be off, motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. So at first when switch 1 is turned on, two motors get on and then when it is turned off, one motor gets off but another motor still remains on. Similarly, when switch 2 is turned on, motor 2 gets off but motor 3 and motor 2 turns on and then when switch 2 is turned off, motor 3 gets off but motor 4 still remains on. So for motor 2, and motor 4 we will use set coil and then motor uh, for motor 2 we will use reset coils and then for motor 1 and motor 3 we will use simple coils and for switch 1 and switch 2 we will use normally open contact so let's move to ti portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example and also do the simulation this is the interface of ti portal let's go to plc tags first then default tag table so here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first one is switch 1 and then we have one more switch, switch 2. So I will click on here and then drag it to here. Then switch 2 is automatically fetched. Then we have four outputs, four motors. The first one is motor 1 and then I will change the address to Q 0.0, .0. as it is an output. The address will start with Q. And then we have motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4. So in this way, all the inputs and outputs are being added here in the PLC tag table. So now let's minimize this. Then go to program blocks and main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So first of all, I will insert a normally open contact with shift F2 that is for switch 1. So I will type S and select S1 and then I will insert a coil here for motor 1 and also I will open the branch I will open the branch then a coil. So the first coil will be for motor 1. So I will write M and select motor 1 and then it will be for motor 2. I will select motor 2. So when switch 1 is pressed or turned on, motor 1 gets on as well as motor 2 also gets on. But when switch 1 is turned off, motor 1 gets off and motor 2 also gets off. But it shouldn't happen. Motor 2 should remain on. For this, we will change this coil to set coil. I will select this S from the drop down list. So now, when switch 1 is turned off, motor 1 gets off, but motor 2 still remains on. And then we'll go to the next uh, rung or network. I will insert a normally open contact for switch 2. I will uh, select switch 2 from the drop down list and then I will insert a coil. I will insert a coil and then I will open the branch then one more coil then I will once more open the branch and then one more coil. So this coil will be for motor 3 M 3 then for motor 2 and then for motor 4. So what happens is that when switch 2 is turned on, motor 3 and motor 4 gets on, but motor 4 should remain on and motor 2 should turn off. So for motor 4, this coil will be used as 
reset coil. I will select R from the list, R from the list, and for motor 4, I will use a set coil. And then only when switch 2 is pressed, motor 3 and motor 4 gets on and motor 2 gets off. And when switch 2 is turned off, motor 3 gets off, but motor 4 remains on. So now let's do the simulation. I will start the simulator here. And then I will start CPU. And then I will start monitoring on and off. And then I will switch to project view. And there, let's create a new project. Project the new and create. It will take some time to create a new project. Go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1 and then right click here and then load project tax. So now we are ready for the simulation. So when I turn on switch 1, motor 1 and motor 2 gets on. And then when I turn it off, motor 1 gets off but motor 2 still remains on. As you can see here, motor 2 still remains true. It is so because of the set coil we have used for motor 2. And then, when I turn on switch 2, switch 2, motor 3 gets on, motor 4 gets on, and also this motor 2 gets off. As you can see here, motor 2 gets off, motor 3 and motor 4 gets true. And then, when I turn off the switch 2, motor 3 gets off, Motor 2 was also all, uh, already turned off, but motor 4 still remained on. It is so because of the set coil we have used for switch 2. Set coil is to set or to turn off to make the output to remain on and the reset coil is to reset to turn off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.